Sweeney and this is under the choco tree. We grow quite a percentage of our own food here, um, vegetables and fruit, and growing your own vegetables is a great thing to do uh, as you become more skilled in the art and learning more stuff. What you can also do is you can look at closing the loop, and by that I mean is saving your own seed. So you grow a, uh, a vegetable, you allow it to fruit and produce seed, um, and then you treat that seed so it's storable and then you can use it to grow the same um, vegetable next season. And we do that quite a bit. Uh, one of the things that can be a little upsetting is if you go to all of that effort and then at the start of the next season you plant your seed and nothing happens. And so you plant some more and nothing happens with that uh, and you come to the conclusion that uh, the seed is not viable. Uh, and one of the ways of avoiding that sort of, uh, of disappointment is to do a seed germination test just after you've saved it so you know whether it's any good or not. And so today what I'd like to do is quickly run through how we do that here. So this is basically all you need. The process is a fairly simple one. What you need to do is keep the seed moist in a controlled manner uh, until it either germinates or it doesn't. So the way I do that is I use these things. Uh, you can use uh, paper towel and that sort of thing uh, but what I find with the uh, the coffee filters is they have a quite a high wet strength so they're not going to fall apart halfway through uh, and cause all sorts of problems. So I use these. Uh, all you need to do is to write on it the, uh, the seed that you're germinating, in this case we're going to do cucumber, um, the uh, variety if it's applicable uh, and the date that it's gone in at. Then what you need to do is dampen the filter paper. Now it takes a little while to, to get nicely, to nicely absorb all of the water, so you might have to leave it soak for probably not much more than a couple of minutes. Once it's got to the stage where it's uh, it's well hydrated, then what you can do is you can open it up and put your seeds in it. So that's now quite damp. Move the water back out of the room. So I get the seed that we've grown and saved. Um, pick a number, any number. I like 10 because then, depending upon how many germinate, it makes it easy to work out the percentage. So we then open up. You want to place them so that they're not touching. Now you can do this for any number of seeds at a time. Um, using a different filter papers. Then all we do is fold it up, place it in a jar, and leave it for a few days. Probably the best thing to do would be to um, check it every two or three days just to see what the germination's like. If there are any seeds that are not germinating, keep an eye on them because um, they may be duds or they may just germinate a bit later on than the others. So that's what we do, but here's one I prepared earlier. So this has been in here for about five days. I uh, have three different uh, cucumbers that I wanted to check for, uh, for seed germination. And as you can see, they've been in there a bit longer than I would normally. Uh, but you can see that they've just about, in this particular case, all germinated so you can be pretty sure uh, that you have a nice high germination rate. It's really as simple as that uh, once they come out you know what the germination rate is um, this is 90 to 100 percent they're spot on. 
If it's 50%, you're probably going to have to sow a few more. If it's 10% or less, uh, are probably not worth hanging on to. So that's really it. It's a simple test. Uh, and when you get to plant in the next season, you can do that with confidence, knowing that you have got a, uh, a good collection of viable seed. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, please feel free um, to leave a like or a comment down below um, or to subscribe because that's always good. Thanks again. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.